Well, the referee today, Michael Crusham, is assisted by Derris ba ba Bradley and Gareth Thomas. He's blown the whistle and we're underway. Geisy in white shirts, blue shorts, blue socks as normal, shooting from left to right as we watch towards the bowling green end of the ground by Spartans in their traditional green and white stripes. And Becker, then long ball forward. And it's picked up here by Howarth, who scored the fourth goal on Saturday. Plays a lovely ball in here. Wafula plays it across the face of goal. Man goes down. Guys, he have got a penalty, I think, in the opening minute of the game. And uh, a yellow card to boot. And what a perfect start. But uh, a ball in there from Wafula. Two players collided. Penalty kick is a result. What a great start to the season. In the very opening stages of this game. And it will be... Uh, taken here and buried by Lebron and Becker to give Geisy the lead in the opening minute couldn't be a more perfect start to the game easy as that isn't it it's straightforward sign for a new club scoring your first minute on your league debut corner from this right hand side everybody inside the six yard box it's an in swinger it goes up towards the back post cleared off the line by the goalkeeper He's uh, just taking his time, looking for an option. Finds Kane Felix. Felix is in fine goal-scoring form. He runs back, plays it here to Howarth. Howarth takes another paddle driver from range, and this one takes a deflection, and is really well saved by Pearson. But Howarth, who struck that fourth goal on Saturday ever so sweetly, just showed how he can connect with the ball once again. His left foot driving the ball from long range. Forces a save, corner to Geisy. It's a good promising start from the Lions. A goal to the good, 13 minutes gone, the corner now, in swinger into the penalty area, and that ball looks like it might have crossed the line, there's a big shout, referee and the assistant says no, not big enough shout actually to make you think it definitely has, the ball's gone out to the left hand side, then curled back in from the left hand side, as uh, Hamza Ben Sharif protests, but uh, it was scrambled away off the line nonetheless wasn't it from that corner, and guys are coming ever so close to a second goal, high up the field, causing by the few problems, Winning the ball and uh, earning a throw in and a great piece of work here from Kane Felix as he tries to go through. Looks like he's just caught uh, the defender who's gone to ground. The Lions keep working forward and then there's a, a free kick given uh, against Simon Heslop for uh, a foul uh, on Mbeka. Four-man wall being lined up for Blythe, uh, bringing uh, another player back in. Blackett coming in to join the defence as... Uh, Evans won't be involved in the short term here. This one's very central, very difficult perhaps to get the angle and the ball up and over the wall to cause a problem for the goalkeeper, but uh, Brad Nicholson might try. He kills this one in, does very well, forces the parry from the goalkeeper who reacted absolutely uh, perfectly to the danger and palms the ball with pace out for a throw in on the left hand side. 26 minutes gone, Geise leading by a goal to nil, a penalty. It was taken by Lebrun and Becker after a uh, foul in the box in the very first minute of the game. Guys, now just making a bit of heavy weather of this, working out the ball from the back. Thompson now on that right-hand side can deliver it into the box. Swipe at the ball by Hamza Ben Sharif, and he mishits it. It goes behind for a corner, Bly's first corner of the game. But here uh, there are plenty of green and white shirts in the box. This one swipes in. It's a... Uh, Enough of a palm on it by Brad Wade to take it away, but it's come out to the left-hand side and curled in towards the edge of the 18-yard box, headed away again. Enk Polo now collects. Could Geisy counter-attack? Kane Felix is starting to run down the left-hand side. Enk Polo lays it into that territory. Felix runs into it. He's pushed a little bit away from the 18-yard box. He has to cut in field. He's got defenders to beat now. He cuts, tries to beat one, gets a shot away, takes a deflection off the defender, which takes the sting out of the effort, and it goes through to the goalkeeper. Kelly Anders just saying a big hell from Fuerteventura. That's more like it. Now, Felix has picked up the ball from the uh, free kick and takes a shot from range. It's a good save from the goalkeeper. And that was what's, that's what can happen. Kane Felix just collecting the ball. Loose pass, moves it forward, takes a rasping drive with his left foot. Good reaction save there from Brendan Pearson. Behind for another corner to the Lions. He's Showing his energy, isn't he? He's got raw pace as a fool. Oh, a mistake from the goal defender who slipped up. 
Kane Felix collects it, goes past the defender, but the goalkeeper comes out and makes a super save at his feet. Just grabs the ball. It then the follow-up with Wafula. He is uh, firing the ball towards a goal, but the goalkeeper's there to deflect it behind. It goes behind for a goal kick because it's taken the last touch off Wafula. What a guilt-edged opportunity that was for Geise to get the second. The uh, free kick is uh, decently placed. It's about 10, 15 yards up from the edge of the 18-yard box. There's a small wall forming. And uh, this has uh, also resulted in Geise bringing four or five players up to the edge of the 18-yard box. It's floated in and headed home. And it is that second. And it's the captain who stepped up to make sure it's put away finally on 41 minutes. Hamza Ben Sharif and the Lions have a second goal and a bit of breathing space. Geisley 2, Blythe Spartans 0. Well, it's been no less than Geisley have deserved, or no more than whichever way around, whatever. Gosh, we are out of practice. Hamza times his run perfectly from deep there. He's running on towards the in-swinging uh, delivery of the set piece so that he can watch it coming over his shoulder, power his head through it, straight into the back of the net. No chance for the goalkeeper. Certainly for Geisley's perspective. Brad Nicholson will launch this one long, goes up towards Ben Sharif, bounces across towards the back post is Kane Felix. It's scrambled away and the referee blows the whistle for half-time and what a half that was for the Lions. It got off to a perfect start. I keep forgetting this is the opening game of the season. Lebrun and Becker opened it perfectly with a, a, a goal from the penalty spot in the first minute and then just towards the end of the half after countless chances, and opportunities, clearances off the line, even a question as to whether guys he might have forced one over the line. Um, Hamza Ben Sharif arrived to head home perfectly four minutes before the break to double the advantage. Half time here, Geisy two, Blythe Spartans nil. At half time, so we are as we were as we get underway for this second 45 minutes with Geisy <coughs> leading by two goals to nil. A penalty in the very first minute of the game. That's uh, probably the sentiment that we'd want to see from, from Geise as we get underway and pressing down the left-hand side. And now there is a pullback uh, from Matthew Elsden. Oh, again, I'm not quite sure whether he was the man who got the yellow card in the first half. And uh, this time he's got a yellow and a second yellow. It is. So it is a red card for Matthew Elsden. So a disastrous start for Blythe Spartans. They are down to uh, 10 men after Elsdon. I mean, it was a very obvious pullback. The uh, ball on this left-hand side is about to be curled in from Howarth. Howarth whips it up towards the back post, headed down. Oh, brilliant save from the goalkeeper to deny Wafula, who got above the ball, bounced it down with his head on the ground. Pearson reacted brilliantly. Managed to get underneath it and put, 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 put it over the bar and behind for a corner. Oh, yeah, the ball was looping up perfectly, wasn't it? And uh, Pearson did really well to, to get up and turn that over his crossbar and trying to make sure that, uh, that it isn't just attack v defence for the rest of the game. Now a head-on here is uh, there's a chance for a, a counter-attack and there's a, a challenge that goes in and catches the uh, attacker, which was Paul Blackett. A yellow card now for Brad Nicholson. It's a moment like that that might just swing the game. Blythe players on the edge of the 18-yard box for this one to be curled in. Scott drills it high and over into the car park. I'd be disappointed with that. That's a real waste. It's a good shot if he was aiming for my car, but a poor one if he was aiming for the goal. The energy from like, Polo and, uh, and uh, Wafula and, and you know, Gabriel Johnson almost all of last season we saw him playing on the right he looks really good down the left nice ball from Johnson now plays it in here Felix just gets through past the goalkeeper plays it in and into the net the goalkeeper came out to close down this time just a fraction second to Kane Felix sliding in gets the ball over the goalkeeper through and it sort of trundled in agonizingly ahead of the defender trying to clear it off the line the Lions have that third Geisley three Blythe Spartans nil take their bows. They're all out warming up at the moment. Yeah, got a new player as well, Ashton Hall on the bench. This long throw goes into the box. Goalkeeper loses it slightly, but this time it falls to a defender. Probably the first mistake he's made all day. It's been excellent. George Cantrell now plays it down the left-hand side, finds Johnson. Johnson 
keeps it in play, finds Cantrell inside the penalty area. He twists and turns, gets it across the face of goal, scrambled away again. Guys, he pressing and pressing. Prince Ekpola, though, now has to be in defensive duty, as does Dan Cowan, to stop the uh, pace of Connor Thompson as he collected the ball down the right-hand side and had a, a good uh, drive forward down that flank. Boston United a 2-0 up to Leamington uh, as well. As uh, we get back underway after that substitution, guys, he win the ball and Howarth's charging through here. He's in a good position, goes towards the edge of the area, can get a shot away with his left foot and score another. He can. He's uh, added a fourth just as he did on Saturday. And Geisley are now four goals to the good against 10 man Blythe, 67 minutes gone. Geisley for Blythe Spartans nil. That's a, a lovely solo goal. He's uh, seen the opportunity to surge through on the loose ball in midfield. He's got himself all the way up onto the edge of the box. And then he had one or two options for passing, but he, he backed himself, set himself to take the shot and buried it into the, uh, into the far bottom corner. No chance for the goalkeeper. Blythe substitute. I'll have one more go at this. Katsumaga. I can, for some reason, I have just absolute hex on this. I can usually pronounce them, but I cannot get that one at all. Is it it's not pathetic? Uh, I'm going to have a go. Is it Katsumagas? It probably is. Is it not dreadful? It, yeah. Now Geisy on the attack here on the, on the right hand side. The ball drilled in, ricochets off a couple of defenders, goes behind, and it's a uh, corner ball. The momentum, the the urgency, the pace of the game is really dropped in the last 15 20 minutes really since the substitutions were made well we're playing with one center back at the moment and Dan Cowan on the right wing and and uh, George Cantrell at 10 Hall square and uh, a long range drive will come in from Ben Sharif it bobbles in front of the goalkeeper who has to react just enough to get something on it to turn it behind for a corner kick just trying to have some damage limitation, really. Hall, who steps up, loses the ball under his feet. Counter-attack could be on here. Thompson will collect. Johnson trying to challenge. Thompson keeps going for Blythe, goes to the angle of the penalty area, crosses, blocked by Ben Sharif. It'll be a corner. The visitors in the last minute of normal time. Goal kick is taken, nodded on by Polo. Chase uh, abounds for Ryan, but he can't win that one the clearance made by Blythe and the ball over hit and goes all the way through to Brad Wade I just uh, haven't seen any added time and that's the answer what a um, what a good evening it was for Geisley too and it got off to a perfect start when Mbeka scored from the spot in the first minute Ben Sharif just before half time added a second to give a little bit of breathing space for the Lions. It got better in the second half after uh, a second yellow card for Matthew Elsden reduced Blythe Spartans to 10. There was a uh, third that came from Kane Felix and a fourth, just as it was on Saturday, drilled home by Mark Howith after a good surge forward. It's been a perfect start for the Lions to the Vanarama National North season. The traditional Tuesday night October opening and uh, Geisy have done it the traditional 4-0 home victory to start things off. It's uh, all back to normality, isn't it, Nick? It's been a funny old year, a funny old summer. It looks like being a funny old autumn. I don't know. Let's see how long this continues. Joined by Russ O'Neill after the 4-0 um, win at home. Open season opener against Blythe Spartans. Russ, you've got to be delighted with that performance and that result. Absolutely. Um, you know, we've been trying to build... You know, as momentum through pre-season into the start of the season, you know, had a good, good, good win at weekend in the FA Cup and we continued that today. Um, we've made a, put a real emphasis today on starting fast um, and trying to get on the front foot and then really try and get a grip of the game. I thought they did that really well. Um, fantastic uh, way to start again, getting the penalty in the first minute, but it could have been many more in that first 45. Um, yeah, you look at it, you know, we're, like I just said, Real emphasis today of trying to start fast and trying to get on front foot and trying to dictate games rather than we've been a bit reactive uh, last couple of well, the last pre season game in the FA Cup game to as opposition and we really wanted to dictate from the start today and well, I don't have any corners or restarts we had in that first half and second half but we've been massively on the front foot and uh, really pleased with, with, 90, with uh, 90 minutes. Uh, one late addition to the squad tonight, Ashton Hall. Uh, can you tell us a bit about him? 
Um, yeah, he's, a, he's, he's somebody we've known about for a bit. He's, he started at Sheffield United, then he went back out, uh, played non-league football at Matlock, and then Sheffield bought him back again. Um, so he is available, and we are slightly, uh, you know, we're playing it back three, and we've only got him back them three there. So he, he comes in and gives us depth in that position, and he's come on tonight. Had a, had a good debut, and really pleased for him. So yeah, hopefully he gives a lot of strength in depth. No time to rest. Another trip this time. Boston United first away league game of the fixture. Tough one for us. They won four 0 tonight. Yes, uh, you know, you know, every every Conference North game is a difficult one. In, in different, you know, you, you every game is different. Everyone's as tough as the other. So you know, we're expecting no different uh, on Saturday.